Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. Right now, I'm just going to be doing a tutorial using the Fabulous in Fiji palette. Um, this is number 5 by Stila. Um, this is part of their travel, collectible travel palette um, series. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had it for a while now and um, I've done a giveaway, giving away some of them, but I've never really done a tutorial using it, which is kind of like retarded. But um, I actually used to love this palette. This palette used to be my favorite. I used to wear it on my eyes all the time. So I just want to show you guys how I used to wear it and stuff. So uh, the first thing I'm going to start out with is just a base, and I'm just going to be using my Color Tattoo 24 Hour by Maybelline. Um, this is just an edgy emerald. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right to my eyes just right at the beginning part really just kind of like the first half of my eye just to kind of give a base for the green color in there called palm which is actually one of my absolute favorite colors so I'm just gonna go ahead and get um pat quite a lot of that on just because sometimes the Stila um colors uh kind of fade away a little bit so I really wanted to give it something good to grab onto. What we're going to do is just go in with a brush. And the brush I'm going to be using is just one of these brushes from Coastal Scent. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of like a flat shader brush. I'm just going to take that and go into the first color, which is Palm, right here. I'm going to get that on my brush really nice. Let's sit off and just kind of apply that right on top. But Maybelline Color Tattoo and Edgy Emerald is definitely the perfect base for this so if you do have this palette and if you've been using the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Shadow Pencil and Milk this would be a good alternative just because it's a lot more similar to the color so it will definitely hold on more. Um, so just again with this eye. I'm just pretty much packing it and just kind of blending it out a little bit because you don't want it to get everywhere just gonna kind of blend in right here just because I'm just gonna put the blue on top but now I'm just gonna go in with another brush also from Coastal Scents and it's just like a little blending brush I'm just gonna go in with this blue color right here this is super pigmented and crazy crazy cute I love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and go right into my crease with that right here blending softly because these this color especially is super pigmented and super blendable so you really just kind of want to pack that on because having this as fallout is crazy <laughs> um so just like that and just kind of lightly blend that out in there so you want to set it up nice and then now what we're going to do is just kind of blend out right in the middle just so you could have that kind of like gradient effect. You can, by all means, leave it just like that, which is probably a good idea right now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into that green just a tad bit. I'm just literally tapping this right here in the middle and just kind of blending it just to give it that gradient blended effect so you can see that right there right so just like so these colors do kind of fade but you really want to um, get it good and then you can set it with a uh, makeup setting spray <laughs> I totally blanked out like as you can see it's kind of blended and it just, I don't know, I just love this look so much. So now we're just going to go ahead back it's in the other eye. And you know what? I think what a good idea is just to kind of keep this eye from fading. Because as you can see, as I'm blinking, it does fade a little bit. You might want to go in with the milk and just kind of um, line wherever you would like the um, blue to be. Which for me is just kind of right here. And I'm just going to blend that out with a brush really quickly. Just a little synthetic brush. Just like that. And now I'm going to put the color on top of it. 
because I feel like this would kind of hold the color more. It's just like that. So now just go in with the blue color right on top of that. And this should keep your eyeshadow on a lot longer. So just like so. So like this, and as you can see, this is a little bit higher than this one. So you could just take a tissue and wipe that down. And just shape it, because sometimes that happens. It, the shape just kind of goes all wonky on you. So definitely go ahead and shape it up when you're done, I would um, suggest. So, yeah. Just like that, and now back in again with the green. Like so, and you want to blend that out into the blue a little bit. But at the same time, make the blue predominant. Actually, I've looked at some of the tutorials on here on how to do this and I've noticed a lot of people just kind of blend it out and they're it's like they don't use these colors to their full potential which I think is crazy I think by all means use this to your advantage it's like awesome so as you can see this one is a little bit brighter than this one just because I use the milk on this one which I would definitely suggest you doing. This is my first time kind of doing it on both eyes so I'll um, definitely do this a lot more but as you can see these colors do fade. You can see that so definitely use a base. First. Because of the milk and the white underneath when you kind of blend it out it gives you this really really gorgeous like light blue effect as you can see. So which is awesome because this one doesn't have that. So definitely go ahead and use the milk as well as the 24 hour. What I'm gonna do now is just go in with a blue liner at the bottom because I want this look to be super bright and fun and summer and like just really, really cute. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and line the bottom of my eyes with this blue um, pencil, coal pencil from Sephora. And this is in Nano. Is that what it's called? I think it's, con it's called Nano. So I'm just going to go ahead and line the bottoms of my eyes with that one. Just right at the bottom, just kind of smudging it. And at the bottom of my lash is right here. And then what I'm going to do is put a black over that. And I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Smoldering Effect. Um, liner, pencil liner, and I'm just going to go right in my waterline, not under where I smudged the blue. Now, just with a smudge brush, you can kind of blend those two together a little bit, just like so. If you do want to make that blue brighter at the bottom, you can go ahead and tap that same smudge brush into the blue color. What is the blue? The blue color is called Wave. I keep saying the blue color, but it's called Wave. You can definitely do that and just kind of like smudge it right down at the bottom on top of that liner. Just like so. Just to kind of make that blue a little bit more. Just like that. So I am going to go ahead and line my eyes, uh, the tops of my eyes with um, my Physician's Formula Eye Booster and Lash lash booster too. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and wing that out, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of like create the wing, the edge first and then go ahead and bring it in. So I want my um, wing to start here where I drew that dot and I want it to kind of swoop down. 
So I'm just kind of drawing it on right now, just like that. Which is like a real legit wing. Just like so. I'm just kind of taking it right up to where my, um, the end of my eyeshadow is. So do that, and now you can just go ahead and line it. I'm just bringing it right out. And again, I'm going to make the line where I want it and swoop it down. Like so. So that is what the tops of my eyes will look like. And now I'm just going to go in with mascara. I actually recently bought a mascara and it is the, um, the Mega Plush, the new one from Maybelline. I actually wanted to use this one instead, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one over that and see how it is. I really like this mascara a lot, actually. On to the other eye. I'm just going to go ahead and line the bottoms with my Dior mascara that I started out with, just because I like this um, brush for the bottom. It's very, very thick. And it really does give you a lot of um, separation down there. That's basically the eye look, and I really love it. It's so cute and bright for like summer and spring, and especially how color blocking is kind of in right now, and all these like bright, bright colors. It's perfect. Now, if you want, you can definitely go ahead and use the blush that comes with it. It's kind of like it's a convertible cheek, and um cheek color I'll go ahead and try it I don't know how it'll look on my skin tone it's kind of like a bronzy um it's more of like a bronzy color but I don't know I'll just go ahead and use it as like a bronzer really definitely I could use it as a bronzer it doesn't work well as a um a blush for me because I'm not really that light for it to work as a blush but as a um, bronzer you could definitely see it working I'm just gonna buff that out a little bit with my um my elf powder brush my hair is totally getting in the way So just like that, um, the blush that I'm going to use with this look, just because I want to keep it bright and um, fun and like really warm and welcoming rather than crazy and scary, is um, my little blush. I'm just going to use a little bit of that. This is our look makes me think of like a mermaid. I really, really like it a lot. Honestly, I really, really do like crazy eyes. I've just been recently getting into all these dark, smoky looks, though. If you want, you can go ahead and add in, like, a little highlight. I'm just going to use the NYX Tangle with Bronzing Stick. This really works as, like, a glowing highlight for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right here. At the top, just to kind of give it that glowy effect. You really don't even need a lot of this. This is just like the perfect highlight shade for right here. Head with a lip gloss. Okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I would normally do a nude lip, but I'm just going to do like a pinky nude. So I'm just going to go in with my Rub On Lip Butter in Cupcake and just kind of put that right onto my lips. Um, this color actually makes me look, it looks purple on my lips just because my own, my own lip color. It's just kind of like purple, which is odd. So, um, I don't want to look like a clown, obviously. So I'm just going to go over that with, um, a nude gloss. And this is Max See-Through. That I always use to mute out my lip glosses and lipsticks. This is basically the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys found this helpful. 
Um, this is a great look for summer and I love it, love it, and I'm definitely going to be rocking it today, obviously. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and please do rate, comment, subscribe, and definitely do go ahead and check out my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram at ReseeBabe. Thank you guys, bye. Everything when me do them falla. If me no shit, them no swallow. <laughs>